Now where to begin? There are stranger things than people who don't know who Millie Bobby Brown is. Yes, she is the famous girl with the telekinetic powers in the Netflix series Stranger Things. She has been around for a number of years now, and with the success her acting career is showing thus far, we wanted to know how much she is making and what she spends that money on. So we scoured the internet and came up with a lot of facts which we turned into this video. We hope you enjoy it. Here is Millie Bobby Brown's net worth, lifestyle, and how she spends her millions. But before we get into to the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Who is Millie Bobby Brown? Millie Bobby Brown was born in 2004 as a British actress, model, and producer. At the age of 12, she gained recognition for her role as Jane Eleven Ives in the first season of the Netflix science fiction series Stranger Things, which has been renewed for four seasons. For her portrayal as Eleven, she has received two Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding supporting actress in a drama series in 2016 and 2017, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards nominations for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Drama Series in 2017 and 2018. Along with the main cast of Stranger Things, she won the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series in 2017. Brown made her big screen debut with a lead role in the monster film Godzilla King of the Monsters in in 2019, a character she reprised in the sequel Godzilla vs. Kong in 2021. She also starred in and produced the Netflix mystery film Enola Holmes, 2020. In 2018, Brown was featured on the Time 100 list of the world's most influential people. That year, she was appointed as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, the youngest person ever to be selected for this position. Brown was born in Marbella, Malaga, and Alusia, Spain, the third of four children of English parents, Kelly and Robert Brown. She has British citizenship through her parents. The family moved to Bournemouth, Dorset when she was around four years old. Four years later, her family moved to the United States, settling in Windmere, Florida. She was born with only partial hearing in one ear and gradually lost all hearing in that ear over several years. As of October 2017, Brown divides her time between London and Atlanta. Acting career In 2013, Brown made her acting debut as a guest star in the ABC fantasy drama series Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, a spin-off of Once Upon a Time, portraying the role of young Alice. Then in 2014, she had a starring role in the BBC America paranormal drama thriller series Intruders as Madison O'Donnell. She made guest appearances in the CBS police procedural drama NCIS, the ABC sitcom Modern Family, and the ABC medical drama series Grey's Anatomy. It was in 2016 that Brown was cast to play Eleven, also known as Elle, in the Netflix science fiction horror series Stranger Things. Also in November of 2016, Brown starred in the music video for Sigma and Birdie's single Find Me. Since November 2016, she has also appeared in commercial advertisements for Citigroup. In January of 2017, she made her modeling debut in Calvin Klein's Buy Appointment campaign. The following month, she was signed to the agency IMG Models. She appeared in the campaign of the Italian brand Montclair in the summer of 2018. 18. Then, in January 2018, Brown was cast to star in and produce the film adaptation of the Enola Holmes Mysteries. She was also chosen to voice in Darren Aronofsky's virtual reality experience, Spheres, Songs of Space Time. In April 2018, she was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine, becoming the youngest person to be included on the list. In November of 2018, EA Games announced that Brown collaborated with The Sims 4 programmers to feature in the the Sims 4 Positivity Challenge. She was named by Time Magazine as one of the most influential teens of 2017 and of 2018. In 2018, The Hollywood Reporter also ranked Brown as among Hollywood's top 30 stars under age 18. In March 2019, she became the ambassador of UEFA's Together We Play Strong campaign. That same month, it was announced Brown would be starring in the film adaptation of The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin as Susie. On July 28, 2020, it was announced that she would star in and produce through her PCMA Productions a suspense film titled The Girls I've Been. Brown will also star and executive produce fantasy film Damsel for Netflix, under the direction of Spanish filmmaker Juan Carlos Fersandio, based on a screenplay by Dan Mazio. In December of 2020, it was announced that 
that the Russo brothers would direct an adaptation of Simon Stalag's graphic novel The Electric State for Universal Pictures, with Brown set to star as the lead. That December, it was reported that Netflix offered her a first-look deal that included multiple projects. Who knows where her career will go from here? Millie has been involved in at least two relationships, firstly with Jacob Sartorius from October 2017 to July 2018, and then with Romeo Beckham. She's currently single, but nobody expects it to stay that way. Brown shares her birthday with celebrities like Lee Marvin, Victoria Justice, and Benicio Del Toro. How does Millie make her money? Millie Bobby Brown has an estimated net worth of $10 million at the age of only 17. For the first season of Stranger Things, Millie Bobby Brown's salary was $10,000 per episode, a total of $80,000 for the season. For the second season, she was paid $30,000 per episode, $270,000 for the season. For the third season, Millie earned a cast-leading $300,000 per episode. Season 3 had 8 episodes, meaning Millie earned around $2.7 million. In November of 2019, it was revealed that Millie would earn $6.1 million to star in Enola Holmes, a film in the Sherlock Holmes universe. She serves as a producer on the movie, which comes with a separate $500,000 payday. She could also earn an additional $800,000 in bonuses if the movie performs well, and is guaranteed $7.5 million if there is a sequel. She has an endorsement from Converse. The line must be paying her an amount of at least six figures. How does Millie spend her millions? It's all good to make all that money, but when you are so loaded, where and on what do you spend the money? We took a closer look. Her house. Even though we do not know where her house is or how much it costs, we did notice some things on Instagram. We noticed modern interiors with neon lights in her bedroom and a huge garden. She's also seen with at least three dogs, one which she sometimes carries with her. One of the English Mastiffs is called Dolly Poppy Brown and is Millie's personal dog. We have no idea how much her house costs. Charity Millie Bobby Brown supports charities like the Entertainment Industry Foundation, Screen Actors Guild Foundation, The Live Foundation, UNAIDS, UNICEF, and UNIFEM, among others. It's unclear how much she gives, but with her net worth, at least six figures should be on the table. She once said, I have two hands, one for me and one for other people. Fitness and working out. Millie works out a lot and has to pay her personal trainer. As she put it, I do Thai boxing Mondays, Jiu Jitsu Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Wednesdays I do boxing with Mark. He was a world champion at one point. I absolutely love it. I actually have a punching bag outside of my garden. I'm obsessed with working out. I eat like a pig, so it kind of makes up for that. Not only fit, but she can probably pack quite the punch if she has to with all those workouts. In an industry where women are expected to play more and more physical roles in movies, the fighting workouts make sense. Personal trainers, especially world champions, are not cheap, so there must be quite the salary there. Clothing. Since she is a model and representing a large apparel company, Millie always has to look good, so we have to assume that she buys expensive clothing. We are talking thousands of dollars here. More facts about Millie Bobby Brown. Millie has 42.5 million followers on Instagram. She also often dances on TikTok. She learned her impeccable American accent at a young age by watching movies on the Disney Channel. Her family moved to Orlando, Florida in 2011, where Millie enrolled in acting classes to give her something to do on Saturdays. There, she was spotted by a Hollywood talent scout who was impressed by her her innate abilities, so the whole family relocated to Los Angeles. When they arrived, she was offered representation by nearly every agent who met her. She had to audition for Stranger Things using dummy sides, fake scenes used to test an actor's ability without giving away the plot, and knew very little about her character until she got the part. The Duffer brothers also failed to mention that she would have to shave her head until the final audition. That upset her mother and Millie, but the Duffer brothers showed her a photo of Natalie Portman from when she shaved her hair for the V for Vendetta of film, and she was convinced. Speaking to Sci-Fi Now, Millie said, I was like, Mom, let's just cut it off. It grows back. It's not permanent, and I need to show how much I'm involved with this character and how much I'm involved with the show. I wanted the best for the show, and if that's what I had to do, then that's what I had to do. To prepare for the show, she was asked to watch 80s films, including Poltergeist, Stand By Me, and The Goonies. The most important reference she was given was E.T., since the Duffer brothers saw a lot of parallels between the naivety and isolation of Eleven and the much-loved Alien. I think we're thankful that Millie got the part in Stranger Things, and that she shaved her hair off. It is one of my favorite shows. Do you enjoy Millie in Stranger Things, or in any other movie or series? Thank you for being here today. Please feel free to return for our next video. But until then, Stay safe.